Hello everyone and welcome to my first segment of Monday's Medicinal Magical Herbs. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at lavender. All right, and we're going to be looking at the different aspects of lavender. I've been studying herbs for almost 20 years. You know, the spirit has always led me to do readings and counseling and the such, but now they're allowing me to take all the things that I've been doing over the years and incorporate it into one big thing, okay? So we're gonna be looking at lavender today, all right? So lavender, and this is it right here, this is lavender, these are the lavender flowers. And usually when you're dealing with herbs, you do not want to boil flowers and leaves you want to steep them so that means that you're going to put the pot on boil you're going to let the water boil take the water off the pot put about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of the herb in the pot cover it and let it steep okay and this is what you're going to do with lavender for the different ways that you can use it okay so first of all let's look at the medicinal benefits of lavender all right lavender relieves spasms and cramps convulsions, flatulence, and it restores balance of circulation and promotes calm with the ability to also produce sleep. Now, for those of you who do not know what flatulence is, it is gas, okay? It also um, influences the digestive system and it's a really, really good tonic, okay? And it also tones the muscle fibers, all right? So these are some of the medicinal properties of lavender. Now, it's mainly used in oil form, and it's helpful for migraines and headaches, and you can use the oil in a diffuser, you know, in your home to bring about calm, and you know, things are really tense around the house, just take a diffuser, you know, put some oil in there, some lavender oil in there, and just let it fill the home, all right? And it will really bring some calm to you. Now, if you want to use lavender as a tea, you want to use the leaves. All right, and as I said, you don't want to boil them, you want to steep them. All right, so you're going to take about a teaspoon of leaves. I'm reading my notes because I have a lot of notes here, information that I want to give to you guys. All right, so you want to use about a teaspoon of uh, the, the leaves of lavender to about a half a cup of water, and you can drink about a half a cup or a cup a day. All right, that's all that's needed. Now, you can also put a few drops of lavender oil in your foot tub. All right, like if you want to do a nice foot bath. You can put some in there to relieve tension. It also relieves headaches, like I said before, and toothaches, okay, believe it or not. It's also very good for sprains and rheumatism, all right? So these are some of the medicinal properties of lavender, all right? Okay, so let's move on, all right? We've seen some of the medicinal properties. Let's look at the magical properties. All right. See, that's the thing that I like about herbs because you can use one thing for so many different things. Okay, it could just, you know, it, it's endless. You know, herbs are just they are the leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nation, and that's what scripture says. All right. So let's look at the magical properties of herbs. Now, lavender is used in love spells. Okay, you can use lavender herb to attract. Um, love and compassion and, and the such, or tr attract a mate. You can use it as an incense. You can also put it in sackets combined with other herbs to draw love to you, okay? You can put it around your home and you put it in potpourri, okay, so that the house smells good. And I'm gonna give you a, um, a love recipe with lavender, okay? So you wanna take some lavender and you wanna take you some crushed rose petals as well. And you want to use a little bit of oris, O-R-R-I-S root, okay, and a little patchouli oil, all right? You want to blend all of that together, and you're going to put that on a coal, and you're going to burn it, and you're going to just let the aroma fill your house, okay? This is what you want to do. This is an incense that you can use. Just play around with it. A lot of herbs, different things, but we're focusing on lavender right now, okay? And these herbs work well together, all right, for love. Now, if you want to attract a male, you can use a sacket, like a mojo bag, okay? And you can put it in either pink or red. And you can use lavender, mix it with a little bit of valerian root, okay? And a little bit of red clover. And you can carry it with you, you know, on your person, all right? So that's a very good love sacket, all right? The incense, giving you that. And here's the sacket. Now I'm going to give you a love bath, all right? 
For a lavender love bath, you can combine rosebuds, lavender, and red clover, all right? You want to steep, remember, you want to steep um, leaves and you want to steep flowers. So you wanna put all of this in a pot after the water boils, put it in the pot, cover it, let it steep for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then strain the liquid off into your bath. And then just sit in the bath, take a shower first to remove the physical dirt. And then you wanna take your bath and put it all in there and just sit and visualize whatever it is that you want to attract to yourself in this case is a love situation. Now, if it is a man that wants to attract a woman, okay, he can use cinnamon, I believe, with that combination, okay? Now, also, what I want to give you is some information about lavender and how it can be used in cosmetics, the cosmetic uses of lavender. It's very good for the hair, okay? You can put some lavender oil in your hair, put some on your brush, and it helps to make the hair grow. It stimulates growth. It gives it shine. It also can be used as a tea for the skin. If you have acne or if you have pimples or if you have any type of wounds or sores, you can put lavender water on it, okay? Also, lavender is very good to use on puffy eyes, all right? So, you know, say you've been up all day, all night, you've been working, whatever the case is, and you have an appointment in the morning, you have a Zoom, whatever it is, and you just, you know, your, your eyes are a little puffy, you haven't gotten enough sleep. You know, put your little bit of lavender on a cloth and just put it over your eyes and it can relieve puffiness, okay? Also, it normalizes the oil glands, okay? And it's a very good rinse for oily hair. It reduces oiliness, okay? All right, guys, so that is my first. This is the first. I'm going to be doing it every Monday. I'm going to be posting a different herb every Monday. And this Monday, it is lavender, all right? So go and get you some lavender. I hope that this information was helpful to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please share the video. Uh, if you would like to have a private reading, please go to thepriestess.net. And if you're interested in spiritual supplies or classes, I have new things coming up. They're on the website. Please go to spiritualsupplycenter.com. Okay? All right, guys. So that is it for this Monday. And I will be seeing you again on next Monday for another herb. Have a great one. Bye-bye.